Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we are talking about the Patent Center, the United States Patent and Trademark Office's new portal for getting information about patents and patent applications that are in the public record. The Patent Center replaces the antiquated public pair system. PAIR stood for Patent Application Information Retrieval System, and it has been replaced by the Patent Center. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of it and explain a few reasons why you might use it. So here is what the Patent Center intro screen looks like, and I will put a link to the Patent Center URL in the description for this video. Here is where you can enter an application number, patent number or publication number. So I will put in a random application number here just to see what turns up. So we'll click the magnifying glass and we get a summary of the application. And I want to draw your attention to this column on the left. Here we have other relevant information for this patent application. And when I click on the document and transactions label, I get a list of all the public documents pertaining to this application. And you can download select documents or the entire collection as a PDF file. For those who may have used the old pair system, you may remember the term file wrapper. The old pair system, in that system they called this file wrapper information. They don't seem to be using that term here, but this is effectively the file wrapper information. And a fun fact, the U.S. Patent Office is almost as old as the United States itself, and so they've been keeping track of patent applications for a very long time. I think that the term file wrapper came from some time before electronic records where they kept all the documents for a given patent application in a giant manila folder or something. Anyway, nowadays all the documents are here and available at the Patent Center. Another useful feature is this Continuity tab. The Continuity tab will show you any other applications, including provisional applications, that this current application is based on. So in this example, I click on the Continuity label, and now I see that this application depends from this provisional patent application. And we can download that provisional patent application using this link. And this can be handy to have when you are trying to get the full story on a patent application. As you may know if you watch this channel, the quality of the provisional patent application can range anywhere from a cocktail napkin sketch to a full, high-quality, detailed patent application. And this feature lets you see what you're dealing with as far as what the originating application showed and what's in there. So let's summarize why we might want to use Patent Center. One is to review patent information about our own application, including office actions, responses, and any other filings related to this application. We can also review the same information for other patents and patent applications, including those that may have been used against us in a rejection. And by combing through the details of those patents and patent applications, sometimes we can learn something that can strengthen our arguments against the patent application that's being used against us. Finally, remember that this is public information, including any related provisional patent applications. Sometimes, especially when in a hurry, people will file a PowerPoint slide deck as a provisional patent application. Well, if there is a slide on that deck that has personal information such as passwords, phone numbers, or IP addresses, that could become public. So anytime you file a white paper, presentation, or something else as a provisional patent application, be sure to go through it first and scrub any information such as passwords, email addresses, and other things that aren't related to the invention that you don't want to have become public. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for watching.